Hi and welcome back to my vlog. Thank you everyone for your support over the past couple of videos. It has been absolutely amazing so thank you very much. Um, and today is all about tea. I am a coffee drinker though. <laughs> so a bit of an odd video. I didn't think I'd be doing this one. Um, if I go out, gingerbread lattes, vanilla lattes, cappuccinos. Oh, I love a good coffee. But coffees do bloat me out and they sit quite heavy in your stomach and you are using up a lot of your calories on a drink. So I have delved into the world of tea. <gasps> what a world it is. I have started just investigating into all the different flavors out there and I cannot believe some of the flavors. Like some of the ones that I'm about to show you, I didn't think would be possible to get into a drink. So I'm really excited to share them with you. Um, I'm going to show you the ones that kicked it all off. So I just started with um, some basic ones from the supermarkets uh, just to start tasting and seeing if I liked it. So the first one I started is a cool one that I think everybody needs in their cupboard and that is this one. So it's Twinings and it's the green tea with lemon. Now the citrus is supposedly meant to bring out the antioxidants in the green tea, making it uh, more readily available for your body to absorb. Whether that's right or not, I don't know. But sometimes after overindulging or just not feeling too great, I find this is the tea I go for. All the flavours I'm about to show you. Sometimes if you just want a good green tea that's going to settle everything down, make you feel a bit less bloated, this is the one. So I would say if you're going to have a look into green tea, then check out this one as one of the ones you should have in your cupboard. Twinings do also do another flavour and this is what kicked it all off for me. The fruit flavours in this green tea um, got me hooked. So it is still Twinings but it's strawberry and raspberry and they do a strawberry and cranberry one as well. This started it all. This is not over powerful it's nice gentle fruit flavors and i'm addicted to strawberry cranberry and raspberries so this yeah this got me hurt and made me a bit more adventurous so if you're looking to introduce yourself to the fruity teas try this one and the boxes aren't too expensive you can normally find them in things like tesco sainsbury's um to have a little look and keep an eye out for the twinings teas another tea you can find in the supermarket is tea pigs um i've always heard about tea pigs but i've never tried them because when i looked on the shelf there weren't many flavors that really intrigued me but i did check out their website and oh my goodness there are so many different flavors and um i really wanted to try just like a little bit of them all i didn't want to have to buy big boxes and then be like oh i don't really like that one and i've got like 20 more tea bags to use so they actually do a selection box like this so you can choose i think it's 12 different flavors you can double up on flavors if you want and they will send you a little box out of their selections and it is the sweetest box so real tea in here yay um and look at this can you see they come in their own little like little pods how sweet is that and yes there is one missing in here because i these have <laughs> traveled around everywhere with me so i've taken them to work i popped them in my car um when i went to a friend's house i took one round so i'm really impressed i managed to find 11 of them back to put in the box to show you um i think the other one is still at work but this is what it looks like and there are some amazing flavors in here now I'm going to start with a couple of my favourites, I'm not going to go over them all with you or else this video will be very long. Um, one of my favourite ones was this one, I did see it on a lot of other web, web, web sites. Um, it's the Silver Tips White Tea and the Shark Fins Silver Tips. It took me like two days to realise that, but that's why there's a shark on there in case you're wondering. Um, but Silver Tips white tea um it's because it's the buds just as they've unfilled it's like cut within two hours i think so it's a really fresh tea um it doesn't smell much of anything when you make it which i quite like sometimes the smell pits me off a tea before i even drink it yeah so it doesn't really have a strong smell and when you drink it it's quite earthy 
not dirt earthy but it's quite like a natural flavor you feel like you're drinking nice natural tea um, and I really like it and if you look I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this but you can see it's literally the tips of the tea they've just plucked them off and I really like this one it has lots of really good properties as well so if you're looking at your selection box give this one a go another flavor is this one so this one is the chocolate and mint it says um, it's a classic combination mint chocolate chip ice cream after din dinner minty dark chocolates a super retro pairing so i was really excited to try this um but the thing is mint tea does make me feel quite sick um when i was a kid and um, we had long car journeys we always had mints in the car and now whenever I smell mint it kind of brings back the feeling of travel sickness. So I'm not a huge fan of minty drinks and I think that kind of happened with this one. It was, so you can see I've got one left, you can see it's got the chocolate flakes in there as well with the mint. Um, I can't say I got a lot of a chocolate taste but the mint flavouring was really lovely. Um, I think it was just my own personal demons not making me like this tea. Um, so if you like minty drinks, give this one a go. Next one. Now, I did not think I would like this. I put it in my selection box because I was like, oh, I'm really intrigued to see what it tastes like. But I'm not sure I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to find it quite sickly. And it's this one. Popcorn tea they do tea that tastes like popcorn and it's amazing oh wow i absolutely adore this tea so i thought it was going to be like caramel popcorn or sweet popcorn but it's not just think having raw natural popcorn that's just popped no flavorings no nothing that is what this tastes like and i really enjoyed it i kind of sipped it because i was expecting like caramel or sweet when i didn't get it i was like hmm I'm not sure and I kept drinking I was like do you know what this is amazing so if you're sat there one night craving popcorn but you don't want to have to eat popcorn you can have a popcorn green tea instead and I actually ordered two boxes of these so I am going to order a big one when I get through these so popcorn is a good flavour to add to your little selection box now there are also loads of other flavours in here there is super fruit, there is chocolate flake tea, uh, jasmine pearls, chai tea. They just have so many flavours and I didn't even order them all. Oh, and this one. Oh, spiced winter red tea. I just love all things Christmas. So when I saw a snowman on a box, it had to be in there, obviously. So have a little look. And this box isn't that expensive and it will educate your taste buds on all the different flavoured teas out there. The next tea company I ordered from was Bluebird Tea and I've got to say I was really impressed when my order came because it was really personal. They put a little note in it. They had no idea I was going to be filming this but inside it was this little note and um, it just says, Hi Emily, thanks for your order. Hope you enjoy your tea. Sally at BB. I mean, that's so sweet. I just really liked opening it and having that little note because in my job I try to be quite personal and write little notes and I think it means a lot so that fact that she's done that for me I I really like it and their teas are really good this flavor I I got so excited when I saw it I didn't know that it was a possibility to have a tea this flavor so I was really excited to try it and it is this one it is loose tea and da -da -da. yeah peanut butter and banana I love peanut butter and banana so I was really excited to get this um although I did notice it had caramelized hazelnut and freeze-dried bananas and other bits and bobs but no peanuts so how they got the peanut butter flavoring without peanuts I'm not sure but I've got to say when I smelt it even now it's a really sweet sweet smell so if you like really sweet green teas you're gonna love this I'm not too sure that smell did kind of put me off before I drank it um, I think this one is kind of like Marmite you either love it or you hate it so let me know if you've tried this and which you are whether you're a lover or a hater of this um, it definitely smells a lot like banana and not so much like peanut butter 
you can see it's quite um a fine i don't know if you can see oh drinking this tea um i did get that really sweet flavor at the start and i wasn't too sure but then when it settled in your mouth you've got that banana aftertaste and it was actually really good um so i'm i'm kind of on the fence i'm gonna keep drinking it um and i think it's a grower you're gonna end up loving it and become addicted to it because that after banana taste is really nice i was just hoping it would be a bit more peanutty than than what it is but it's a really good tea so if you want to give it a go try something a bit different i would say get this one the other tea i got from bluebird um, was a great taste winner in 2016 and um, it was a limited edition one but everybody loved it so much that they just demanded that this website have it all year round and they listened and they've done it and i'm so happy they did because it meant i could taste it and it is this one gingerbread chai with rooibos i hope i'm saying that right Roy rooibos um Royos has loads of health benefits. It does uh, hair, skin, teeth, bones. Some people say it helps prevent type 2 diabetes. Um, lots of perks to this. So if you ever see anything that has Royboss in it, it is a really beneficial tea to be having. Um, have a little look online. There's lots of different articles on it so you can kind of get an idea of what it does. But this flavour from this gingerbread, I mean, it's amazing. It's you get a really smooth taste it's really lovely um so you kind of drink it and you get the gingerbread initially but then all the the chai all the different flavors come through and it's so lovely i absolutely love this one and they're in bio biodegradable tea parcels <laughs> easy for me to say um it's just just absolutely lovely um you smell the chai more than the gingerbread and then you can see it's all quite fine. Even the rooibos, it comes from um, a plant or tree in South Africa. So it's quite fine normally. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. Order this. If you like gingerbread and you like cheap chai lattes, then order this. It's so lovely. It definitely deserves that great taste award. Really good tea. The next tea is from Wittard, and I have fallen in love with this tea. It is probably one of my favourites, along with the gingerbread chai. Um, I just absolutely love it. And if you're looking for um, a shop that you can go to and try lots of different tea and ask the staff there a bit of information, then Wittard's is the place to go. They're so nice, they have so many different flavours and so many different types of tea as well. They have loose tea, tea in tea bags instant tea as well they do like a powder one um and they do uh, a mold tea flavor um come christmas time so it's kind of like mold wine but it's tea um i did not realize it was called mold tea i kept going into work and saying oh i'm having some mold wine does anyone want some um and it's not till someone said why are you drinking wine in work but i realized it's called mold tea even though it tastes exactly like mold wine so um check that out that'll be coming out more Christmas time so you got a bit of a wait yet unless they have some on sale uh, but the one I have chosen for this vlog is this one now look how sweet this packaging is you could have this in your kitchen like a whole row of them and they would look so lovely so this is quite a small size you can see like next to my head it's quite a small size they do obviously come bigger but the price varies and i didn't want to go for a big one until i knew that i liked it and i tell you what i am definitely buying a big one so this one is the strawberry and mint flavor number 96 and look at this as well look at this packaging so you take off the little lid and it's got a little stopper as well and there is your tea and it does have um quite chunky like strawberry bits in it as well so you can see there quite chunky bits and oh it smells really good guys it smells like um strawberry laces that's what it smells like you don't get oh, a huge hit of mint but you can sense there is mint there does that does that make sense you get strawberry laces but you know there's mint but it's not overpowering it's just absolutely lovely and the reason i wanted to try this one is because they said that it is really good to have cold i actually have some that i'm drinking now so that is the strawberry and mint tea let me um go get it and i'll show you up close um 
I read somewhere that if you're making cold tea, you should make it twice as strong as what you would do for hot tea. So it's come out quite a strong colour, um, but I think it works. So maybe give that a go. Look at that. Ah, uh, see my face in it? <laughs> um, it's really lovely um, with a bit of ice in it as well. This is such a nice, nice tea. So good. So check out this if you want some strawberry mint tea. I realise I have shown you quite a few loose teas and if you don't know how to use loose tea it can be quite scary um, but the main thing you've got to do is get an infuser. There are so many out there on the market you'll probably see them and won't even realise what they are because you can get ones that look like little men that like hook onto the edge of your cup and you fill up their body with the loose tea leaves and that will infuse your drink. You can also get pug ones that sit on the edge. Um, this is the one that I've got. It's also from Wittards and I absolutely love this it's so good because I find with the ones you hook on the edge of your mug it doesn't always infuse very well so this one if I show you ah, there you go it is a floating tea infuser and I kind of think it looks like a little acorn I wish they had made it look more like an acorn put like a little leaf on top that would have been really sweet but I still think it looks like an acorn so you literally it's just a twist one You've got your little like mesh case that you fill up with the loose tea. You've got this and you just literally slot them together and pop it in your mug and it will float around and make your water taste amazing. And then I really like the fact that you have this that it sits in. So I will fill it up and I'll put it in here while the kettle boils. And also if your kettle does boil, I wouldn't put it straight in your loose tea you meant to let it cool down a little bit um because the boiling water isn't always going to give you the best taste it can burn the leaves so just give it a bit of time to let your kettle cool down and then look you can just pull it straight out its little stand and plonk it in your tea and when it's soaking wet you don't have to put it on the edge you can just put it back in its little case and i really like that so those are all the teas that I have to show you. I hope it's given you a good idea of all the different flavours and types of teas that are out there, whether you have them hot or cold. Uh, leave a comment down below as well if you know any other tea flavours. I am well and truly hooked on teas, so I'd love to hear if you have any that you recommend. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks, bye!